In this video, I will walk you through all the necessary products that you need to have as a lash art. First, I'm gonna start with the Barberside solution. I use this to disinfect all my tweezers. That will uh, help you to get away from any bacteria. And uh, what I do, I just mix a little bit, a table, I will say a tablespoon of uh, Barberside with water and just leave the tweezers for at least 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, you can just rinse them and put them back in a clean space. Second, I'm gonna show you the alcohol, which I use this in a spray bottle and just spray all the area where I work after each client. And obviously the hand sanitizer that I use this, I will say every 15, 20 minutes. Also, I have a foam bottle right here with a lash cleanser. What I do is I mix a tablespoon of um, Aveno cleanser and just fill it up with water and you can clean the lashes right before you start the full set And I use this brush for washing the lashes You can also use a mini fan to dry the lashes and then you can start the process of uh, applying eyelash extensions After you've done all the cleansing part you can use the eyelash primer with those micro swap and just go on each lash so you can make sure there is no residue or any oil left on the eyelash after we're done priming we go ahead with the foam tape i use either foam tape or either those gel pads i will say that i love more the foam tape just because it's very sticky to the skin this one sometimes can go right on your uh, client eyes so that will cause a little irritation to the eyes so you have to make sure that the pad is set in a right position i will also attach a picture so you can see how i apply this uh, pad under the eyes and i also use those alcohol pads to sanitize my tweezers every 15 20 minutes like i said exactly the same way with the hand sanitizer so every 15 every 20 minutes i like to disinfect my tweezers with the alcohol pads and then i like to wash my hands sanitize my hands and i like to spray the alcohol right on my area this is something that i do on every single client on the supplies i like the the tray glue i buy everything from um, almost all the disposable products from amazon so you can use this uh, as much as you want i like to put every drop on uh, every 15 minutes so you can use this i would say for like a set or two sets almost and also i have this little hold glue that you can use just one time you can uh, put the glue right on the middle and then those little parts you can i'm not sure if you can uh, you can actually see those little sides you can actually fix your fence i have the surgical tape i like to use this under the bottom lashes so i can uh, if any of the lash are uh, outside you can also you can also tape them so you don't have any problem uh, to stick them with the top lashes and i also use this for holding the eyelids when you need to now i have those mascara ones the brushes that I like to cover them. You can have them in your bag, you can put them wherever you want, as long as they are covered. This is actually a paper straw that you can cut them and just cover your brushes. And also I have this lint-free applicators that you can easily clean your lashes and the lash line as well. They are lint-free, so you don't have to worry of any cotton or anything like that going into your uh, eyelashes. Now I'm using this glue it is from uh, Lashbox, but as of right now, this is my favorite one. It has one second dry, which is very good with my fans, works great. We all know that uh, all the glues are made from uh, cyanoacrylate that helps to bond and uh, cure the lashes. Now, 
we have to have a mask every single time when we apply lashes when we do any kind of sets because like i said we all know that glue is made from a cyanoacrylate so we, we have to keep the distance uh, from the glue and obviously not breathing on our client's face and also i have this hair cover so uh, i can just put this on top of uh, client's hair so i don't really need to touch their uh, hair mini fan and now i'm gonna go through on uh, each tweezer so my my favorite tweezer for um, for volume is this one right here which is very curved and you can see that the tip is very very long so I can do a mega volume with this. I will say between seven to 20 lashes. This is my favorite. And then I have my uh, extreme lashes tweezer for isolation. I use this every single time, even if I have a classic or full volume or a mega volume. The next one, I like this one is for volume as well, but you can see that the tip is very, very short. So I like to grab, I will say two, three lashes so I cannot make more than two three fans because the tip is very short so it's not gonna hold more than uh, than two three lashes and I have this one same for volume this has a long long tip so you can uh, actually do a mega volume with this is my favorite one uh, right now too I'm so excited to show you how I create all my fans with all of them and then I have the last one well it's not the last one I have this one from um, extreme as well this is very very curved even the tip is very curved I do all my uh, light volume with this I will say two three and four this not more you cannot grab more just because the tip is very very short and the last one this is from um, sassy lashes you can see that the tip is very short too but what i like i like that it has a long this is the longest that i have and you can do three four five this not more because the tip is very short so you cannot grab more than that you can see my whole tweezers which can help me to keep everything nice and organized so this is all i have for lash products i'm so excited to show you how i create my fans how i start my uh, classic set and how i do the volume sets so stay tuned for the next video